John Crosby was never politically correct, right? I wasn't afraid of my shadow. In a province of colorful characters, John Crosby was one of the most colorful, a man who didn't back down. I didn't take the fish from the goddamn water. In Newfoundland and Labrador, he's the man who shut down the cod fishery in 1992, putting 30,000 people out of work. He didn't shy away from the protesters or from speaking his mind. Whether it was fishermen or politicians, John Crosby always had a witty line, even if it frequently crossed the line. Just quieten down, baby. <laughs> to withdraw those remarks. It reminds me of a, I don't know whether you've ever heard this old song, it was, pass me the tequila, Sheila, <laughs> and lie down and love me again. When he faced controversy, he didn't shrink away, he seemed to revel in it. She can't take a joke. You people, you can't take a joke either. Mr. There's not one damn one of you can take a joke. Believe it or not, Crosby had to overcome shyness when he first got involved in politics, briefly on the St. John's Council before joining the cabinet of Newfoundland and Labrador's first premier, Joey Smallwood, at age 36. Crosby challenged Smallwood for the leadership of the Liberal Party and lost, sending him across the aisle to join the Progressive Conservatives. He entered federal politics in 1976. All right, John C. Crosby, do solemnly... He was finance minister in Joe Clark's short-lived government, one he later described as long enough to conceive, just not long enough to deliver. He was back in cabinet under Brian Mulroney and was key to getting the 1985 Atlantic Accord signed. That deal would turn around Newfoundland and Labrador's economic fortunes, leading to offshore oil development and pouring billions in oil royalties into the province's pockets. Crosby left politics in 1993 but stayed in the spotlight as Chancellor of Memorial University and then as the province's Lieutenant Governor. Don't have to worry about whether you vote for me or not. Kiss my arse. <laughs> Crosby aspired to more. He never could win the federal or provincial leaderships. That hope now falls to his son Chess, who leads the PC party in Newfoundland and Labrador. When the younger Crosby won a provincial seat, an older, frailer and quieter John Crosby didn't shy away from a camera. I'm anxious to uh, participate and uh, show support for my uh, son. His son's legacy is still yet to be written, but John Crosby knows how he wants to be remembered. You're thinking of my own career. He was not politically correct, but he certainly feel, I certainly feel that I gave the best I could and I was as straight and honest as it's possible to be in politics today. Peter Cowan, CBC News, St. John's.